All right, everybody, again, it's Delvon Johnson here at the Blackbird premiere, and I am here with my good, good girlfriend, Miss Monifa and Therese. How are y'all tonight? We oh, are wonderful. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Now, are you, are you still R&B Divas, or what's going on? I, I've, I've heard... You know, well, there's a lot of things up in the air. I haven't got any solid word, but, you know, life moves on. It was a great experience, and I have great memories. So, you know, either way, it's, a, it's good. We're good. I'm good. <laughs> so are we, look, are we looking forward to, 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 to tonight's movie? This is going to be great, right? Absolutely. Absolutely looking forward to seeing this, uh, this envelope pusher of a movie. I think we have to keep the um, dialogue open and ask the hard questions about certain issues, especially in our culture, dealing with homophobia and a, and a plethora of other things. So, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what it covers, what it pulls the cover sheets back on, so to speak. And um, yeah, right, babe? Absolutely. <laughs> because, okay, because this, this is my, uh, my question to you, because a lot of times in our community, you know, our, our parents are not accepting to what, um, you know, who we are when we, when we decide to come out and all like that. But in your situation, it was a little different. Give us some insight on your, in your opinion on, on that. Okay, well, with my, what I shared um, um, in my story, about my life on R&B Divas was, you know, the fact that my daughter and I differed in our religious beliefs um, and our belief system uh, spiritually. So I sh we shared that because we wanted to show that we can get through any situation. Um, the differences is not what, what creates the, the um, issues. It is the way we deal with them. Um, and if we deal with things th with love and respect, being at the forefront, you can get through almost anything. You can, you know, and acceptance because, you know, if you're not trying to chase someone, you if you get if you move that piece out the way, it makes it a lot, lot, a lot easier. Um, and that's how we get it. You know, uh, my daughter Therese and I, and we shared that piece because we wanted to show people that yes, you can have differences, but we still love one another and our family is intact. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. So on a lighter note, because we got deep for a minute. <laughs> hey, 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 so. <laughs> so tell us, so tell us, uh, are you working on any any new projects, any new albums? What's going on? Well, honey, Miss Thing is coming back. I'm here. Well, I'm not coming back. I'm back. I um I have a new single out entitled One Moment, and it is about um, taking care of yourself. Um, as a new single and video, it is available digitally. Um, iTunes, Spotify, uh, Amazon. Um, it actually was on number um number one on at Amazon okay. independent new independent releases, and um I was very excited about that. It's only been out six weeks, and um, I'm working the record, and I and I it's a movement. It's about health and mental stability and taking care of you so you can be a you know you can be a quality to the world you know what i mean and your family well you know see you, you always come with a mouthful honey <laughs> you know, I like to talk to her, but, but i gotta explain my stuff you know i got not explain it but just share because i'm in a sp in a space where i want to be of service as well as entertain <laughs> All right, well, guys, keep it locked here. Again, we're at the Blackbird premiere. Monifa, thank you for stopping by and chatting with us. Of course, and you always look fabulous. Oh, thank you. And you guys keep it locked right here with Fashion in the Fast Lane. Hey, everybody, again, it's Delvon Johnson. I'm here with, uh, for Fashion in the Fast Lane for the Blackbird premiere, and I'm here with another acting legend, Mr. Leon. How are you this evening, sir? Good, thank you. Good, good. What brings you out this evening? We in the Urban Movie Channel is a company that you know was founded by my, my good buddy Bob Johnson, so we came here together. And I have a couple of movies with them that they've acquired, so we're here to support, part of the family. Now, are you working on any, any specific um, projects right now that you could talk about? Yeah, um, Where Children Play is a movie I just finished, mm -hmm. which is in post-production. I have another movie called Hosanna, which is I'm prepping right now to do. is about our failed immigration system. And my band, Leon and the Peoples, we're finishing up our album right now, and we're headlining the AIDS Walk concert in Central Park. That is fantastic. Now tell, tell us um, how um, your, our listeners or followers can um, get out with you on social media. Easy. You can find me at Twitter, just at JustLeon.com. JustLeon.com. Leon, thank you. I know the movie's going to be starting soon, so I don't want to have you here too long. I have us missed the opening. So thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And your daughter is growing up to be gorgeous. My sweetheart. She is a, absolutely amazing. All right, keep it locked here, Fast and the Fast Lane, with the premiere at Blackbird. All right, so I am here with the actual producer of the fabulous uh, premiere movie this evening, Blackbird, Patrick Ian Polk. Patrick, how are you this evening? I'm wonderful, thank you. Thank you. You have come such a long way. I think I, we met, I think, in the Miami Sizzle about four years ago, and I've just seen you grow into this 
this producing Am Amazon, you, you are Amazon already, but now producing Amazon, tell us what inspired you um, to do Blackbird? You know, uh, reading the, the, the novel Blackbird by Larry Duplachan uh, 25 years ago, um, and it was the first time I had read a, a book, seen a movie, anything that reflected the black gay experience, and it changed my life when I was, you know, 16 years old and a freshman in college. So I've always wanted to make it into a film. Um, it's a story that needed to be told, and uh, I'm glad it happened. Now, um, I'm, 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 with all of your films, there's always a gay undertone, and um, that's a huge challenge in our community, you know, in this day and age, as it's probably been in the past, you know, in the past years. Um, why do you continue to move forward with that force of, of producing those type of films, especially with the undertones that we have, you know, in the, in the community? Um, you know, as an artist, that's just what moves me. You know, I am a black gay man. I didn't have things like movies like these when I was uh, uh, young. I would have loved to. I loved movies when I was a kid. It would have been nice to uh, see myself reflected. So as an artist, that's what motivates me. Yeah. Okay, and any, any other, uh, other fabulous projects coming up outside of this? We'll after this you know, hopefully you get an Oscar for it. We're, ho we're hoping that happens. Working, maybe Blackbird, the TV series. Who knows? Fingers crossed. Okay. <laughs> all right. Well, Patrick, thank you for stopping. I know the movie's going to be starting soon. Congratulations on all of your success. I saw you on The View last yesterday. So the, the smile is there, and, and, and it's, just, it's, it's a pleasure to see one of us doing something so big and so fantastic. So we commend you on that. And you guys, keep it locked here with Fashion the Fast, and I'm here with Patrick Ian Pope.